G'day Robert, g'day Steve, how are you guys doing? Just having a, a pear here. I mean, um, um, I'm a big, big, big fan of fruit. Great stuff. So, Stephen and Robert is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm, I'm hoping you guys have had a... Um, <laughs> I'm hoping you guys have had a uh, fantastic week so far. Hey, Robert. <laughs> it's a Friday. You might as well go ahead and, uh, and dance later on. Right, so obviously my name is Prosper Taruinga and those that are just tuning in, welcome aboard um, to this wonderful Lunch and Learn where we basically going to be sitting here for the next 30 minutes. Look, Corin, how's it going, my brother? And today, this is the last show of this week, so if you, um, you know, haven't been watching for the whole week, there's a few other shows that, um, yeah, we've had so far. And, um, yeah, basically for those that are just the first, um, you know, first time visitors, you would understand um, that my main vision and uh, the reason why I do these shows is so that your business is profitable and enjoyable. Now, Carolyn says, agreed, clarity of vision pulls you forward to achieve your desired result fast. Thank you so much. You're going to enjoy the show then if you already have that uh, clarity. You know, so basically, like I said, I really want your business uh, to be profitable and enjoyable. Ali Madawi, how you going, my brother? Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, basically what I do is help small businesses like yourself to actually package your services and your products and market yourself so you can brand yourself in the market. That way it leaves your business to be full of profit and you actually enjoy working in that business. So literally I help and I teach people a four step system that is used to generate um, you know, high ticket clients, not just the bottom feeders and not just clients that are going to be nagging or annoying you because they actually know your vision and they actually know what it is that you're doing. So how many times have you, you know, asked yourself, um, how do I get more customers? How do I, you know, put myself out there? How do I, um, you know, let people know what it is um, that I do? You know, many times than you would care to admit, all right? The reason is because your people, the people, your prospects don't actually know what you stand for. They don't actually know, um, you know, what your vision is. They don't actually know where you are heading with your business. That's the reason why we're having this show today. Um, because every single day I talk to a lot of business people, like you would see the shows that I put out. Some are recorded, some are not recorded. Um, yeah, I speak to a lot of people and the first question that I ask them is, why does your business exist? Now, I want you to type it in the comments as well so that we understand right from the get-go why you think your business actually exists in the world. Why is it important that you wake up every single day doing what it is that you're doing? Why do you think that you need to be doing what you're doing and... It might sound like it's an easy enough question, but I really want you to dig deep and ask yourself, why does your business exist? All right? Because a lot of people, that's where it starts off from. Your profit and you actually enjoying working in the business is the clarity that you have of your own vision. Because without that vision, people will not know why they should follow you. Without that vision, people will just think you are just a one-click wonder. Like I said, it may seem like a very easy enough question. I asked it a little bit earlier on, um, you know, within my um, news feed there. And a few people, you know, managed to answer it. They managed to answer something that is pre Recorded, but when I answer, when I ask them a second layer of the question, they seem to stumble with their answers. Because if you're not clear about where you're heading with your business, if you're not clear about what offers, or if you're not clear why anybody would choose you over Sally down the road, the same thing is happening to your customers. All right. So if, if you're not clear, your advertising, um, you know, is muddled, your marketing is muddled, your messaging is muddled. And if people cannot understand your messaging, it's like you're speaking a totally different language to them. All right. So you'll be surprised how many small business people cannot provide a simple answer as to why their business exists. 
And sadly, when you, your marketing uh, materials, your website cannot articulate your business vision, it has a direct impact on your business success. Let me tell you something. Your clients right now are already purchasing from somebody. Your clients right now are already paying someone, um, you know, to get services that are, um, you know, you're, you're providing. Why then should they stop getting those services from the people they are used to? Why should they choose you to, 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 to get those services from? Now, Sonia says, I help people find a home. Right. Where are these people living before they get a home with you? And why in particular do they need a home instead of an apartment that they can rent out? Can you just explain to me why your service is important to the kind of people that you deal with? Do you know what I mean? Because once you can articulate the reason of your existence within the customer's, um, you know, um, you know, train of thought or in their decision making process, if you, your, your existence is pivotal and is really, really needed, then you will prosper in, 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 in business. But if you're just there just because it is something that is easy to do and you can just throw out a reason uh, hoping that people won't ask you the next question, then you're leaving people uninterested in knowing further about what you do. That means they're not even engaged. Now, Sonia says the people we deal with are um, over renting and want to have a home for their kids. Okay, understandable. I can imagine if a family is growing and all they have is, um, you know, a bunch of kids that are probably just sharing rooms or the kids are not free to, you know, post their stuff on the walls or put blue tech on the walls just because it's a rental property or the kids may want, um, you know, the, their rooms painted a different color, but because it's a rental property, they cannot do that. So I can understand why you help people, um, you know, getting a home, all right? So you really, really, really need to articulate it in a way that you're letting people see beyond than the brick and mortar and a roof. Because they can get that anywhere else, Sonia. All right? They can get that anywhere else. So vision is vital. Vision is what keeps people alive. Hope, vision is what made America, is what made Australia. Because somebody in the UK right there just told, um, you know, the, the, the voyagers or the pioneers that, hey, there's a piece of land where there's aborigines and kangaroos and they didn't even know what to expect. Six months they spent on the sea knowing that they were coming to a place like this. It was the vision that they had that somebody painted about the area that they were going to colonize. It's just like Martin Luther had a dream. All right. He had a dream and he imparted that vision onto other people because they could have not seen it by themselves. And Stephen Sidden says, teaching people how to upgrade their skills. I understand your skills are in welding and stuff like that, but you really got to be able to articulate it in such a way that people get it. Because people these days are tired of, you know, if you're not clear on, on what you actually do, if you're not painting a picture, because a picture is worth a thousand, um, you know, a thousand words. So paint a picture so that somebody now, you know, illustrates it in their own terms. But if you just give a one word answer, you are giving somebody an opportunity to just say no to what you're saying. So vision basically is if you paint a really good picture about your provision of your services and whatever it is that you're doing, you give both the motivation behind why you do what you do and also you are, you know, buying the future into your business. Have you ever been at a, at a party and somebody says, hey, so Prosper, what's up? What do you do? And then you're like, oh, yeah, I'm a digital marketer. The conversation stops there. But if you give somebody a motivation behind why you do what you do and also a future for them to look forward to, because every person who goes into business really wants a business that makes profit for them. And then pretty much after that, they want to enjoy working in that business because they're sick and tired of a nine to five. 
So Sonia says, we remove fear from getting a home by giving them an ecosystem to learn and while they travel with us. Oh, do you want an elevator pitch? I'm not sure. I just wanted something that makes me understand what you do. Because the moment, the moment you don't tell somebody and you hook them, they're already not interested. Like right now, Sonia, you've tried five times and I still don't quite get what you do. All right. So your vision has to be your why. The reason why your business actually exists. What is the purpose of that business? If that business is taken away from the ecosystem, would people not thrive? Would people not be, you know, living in a happier existence? Because then if you've got a really clearly focused vision, it allows the spark, you know, a flash of all that inspiration that people are looking for. Do you know what I mean? So, so you know, you, 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 you give your whatever you're doing, you know, that gleam of opportunity because people want to be excited. All right. People want to be a part of something. Dan Kennedy talks about people are walking around with their umbilical cords in their hands because they want to connect somewhere. Humans are societal beings. So if you don't give people a vision that where you are taking them is going to alleviate their pain, is going to solve their problem, they will not care to listen what else you do. I think it was Simon Sinek that uh, mentioned that any, any person can explain what they do. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and how they're different or better than the other, but very few people can articulate why they actually do what they do. You know, Jamie, what you're talking about, refinish Myrtle is to bring it a mirror finish. That's the what. What are you doing? That's exactly what are you doing? Nobody would care even if their car is, 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 is dirty. It doesn't mean it cannot move on the road. Does that make sense? So what you're just explaining is the what part of what you're doing. You know, what you're doing there brings you a profit. Those are the results of what you offer your clients. But why is it that it's important for them to have a, a shiny and a mirror finish? Why is the thing that actually inspires things around us? All right. So now you might be having that sort of eureka moment. And then and, and you're thinking, or maybe when you started the business or when you got into the business, you were thinking, ah, you know, I want to create that or I just want to leave my job and do something that I'm, 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 I'm capable of doing. You know, I want to help people. I want to help veterans, which is what somebody mentioned um, in the comments when I asked this question earlier on. But why is it important? You know? Or if you want to do things in a new way, why should anybody care? Because whenever your business fails to share that vision... You actually risk, you know, extinguishing that initial spark, even within yourself. If you don't know exactly why it's important for you to wake up every single day, you will stop waking up. So when you've got a really exact and clear declaration, um, um, you know, of your vision, you know what it does? You now know exactly why your business exists. You know, you now know why people need you. You now know why people need your content. If I didn't know why my business exists, do you think I'll be out here every single day for 30 minutes, even if there's nobody watching? Because I know people need to hear this. So that's what moves me. Because my vision is to make sure whoever then gets in touch with my content, their business is profitable. And they actually enjoy working in it. You know why? Because now they know why they're actually needed in the marketplace. At the end of the day, you, you will just end up as another book, another app in the phone. Do you know what I mean? Another, another street lamp in the, in the street. Some street lamps are important because they hold a sign showing people, um, you know, what direction to take. Others, they just have a light. You know? So at the end of the day, even your own vision, your own passion about what you do, why you do it, is the thing that will ignite you and, and get you out of bed in the morning. You see? 
Why would anyone want to work in your organization? Why would anyone want to give you any money for what you do? Why? It's about, it's about you know, who you serve and how you serve them. Because if you're not clear about that, first of all, <clears throat> you're not going to attract the right kind of people. And if you're not clear about how you serve them and why you need to be serving them, then you're going to do them a disservice and then they'll go to somebody who is clear and is in tune with their mission or their vision. So once you have like a powerful vision of why your business exists, it becomes <clears throat> what you create your content out of. It becomes what you talk about consistently. It becomes your authenticity. And then, like what Nicole says, you start bringing in the right kind of client with the right kind of pain and you're giving them the right kind of product. You know why? Because your vision is in tune with what they're also looking for. It's not, not it, it, it now starts to give you direction for you, for your team or anyone that's keen to work with you. Because these days we outsource work, don't we? We have VAs. We have, um, you know, people that are working on our businesses while we're doing our main thing. If they are not aligned to your vision, if they don't understand why they should be doing what they're doing, do you think they're going to produce results? Do you think partners are going to want to partner with your business if they don't see the vision in what it is that you're doing? And Nicole says, attraction marketing is where to find the right people for your business and your empire. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, once you have a vision, once you show them the direction of where you're going, people would want to put money in it because you're not just going to be a grand opening, grand closing. Why do you think people trust businesses that have been, you know, surviving for the last 20 years? Because they know they're not just going to close on them tomorrow. They know what their vision is and their vision has stood the test of time. So that means at least in the next five years, that business is going to be in existence. So once you have a strong vision that is written out in your marketing, in your website, in your social media, and if people really know that you're, you're not just going to close shop on them, that same strong vision, you know what it does? It inspires confidence in your prospects in them providing you and knowing that your business is going to exist tomorrow. Right now, I don't want to lie to you, a lot of our businesses, if we stop working in them today, in the next couple of days, they'll be shut. Because our vision is not strong enough, our vision has not been articulated, our vision has not been sold onto our prospects. So they are not going to bear the, 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 you know, the, 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 the movement of that business. So whatever size your business is, whether you started yesterday or whether you started three years ago or whether you're a Fortune 1000 business, it is really clear for people to understand what your vision is throughout your business, throughout your collateral, throughout your sales channels. Because once you stop you know, articulating exactly what it is that you do and why people should be aligned to it, People get confused. Humans are creatures of habit. And they don't really take change easily. Because once you start chopping and changing, you, you, you take away the confidence that they have with you. So once you understand that there's a big link between your vision and your sales, now you start knowing why you haven't been making a lot of money because people don't see where you are headed to. A lot of people talk about what they used to be. Used to be is don't make no honey, my friend. You want to show people that you've got 2020 vision, where you are headed, where you're going so that they follow too. But you want to make sure that that vision is not too overzealous and it makes sense to the people that you're trying to sell it to. It makes sense to your customers. It makes sense to the people that are going to be working around you. Because if your vision is to start creating flying cars, uh, yeah, it might happen. 
But is it sensible? Is it something that people are going to want? So your vision really has to be articulated in, in a way that is humane, in a way that is, is favorable to the people and also understandable and comprehensible. That then inspires the growth within the people that you're going to be working with, etc., etc. Because a lot of people's vision is obscured. They need to correct their vision. I don't mean going to, um, you know, uh, what, what's that shop where people buy uh, spec servers? They just need the vision, the moral compass, the compass of their business so that they gain clarity. That is the reason why when you're driving, the windshield is bigger than the rear view because you need to see where you are going more than you need to see where you're coming from. So once you have a vision, and like what Nicole says, people follow people with a vision. You know? Sometimes we just think you can just jump onto maybe a Facebook Live like this with no direction, with no map. Do you think you'll be able to go anywhere else without a GPS these days? I mean, maybe you can, but it's going to be difficult. You cause a lot of traffic, um, you know, kerfuffles because you, you decide to turn at a time when you're not meant to be turning. So when you don't have a clear vision in your pre-sales materials, you are already anticipating doom for the clients that are coming ahead. First of all, you start attracting the wrong kind of people. You start attracting the ancient clients that don't pay on time. You start attracting people that don't even value your work. And then what's the point in you starting your own business if you're not going to enjoy working in it in the first place? But if you instill your vision right from the get-go, all those people that are of the of lower caliber will just, you know, not even bother to mess with you. Do you know what I mean? Because there's this, there's this uh, what do they call it? There's this myth that a clearly defined vision statement sort of, it, it, it limits your business growth. Because then, you, why can you be defined by a statement? But let me tell you something. If you don't have that statement... You know, if you don't have that statement, regardless of the size of your business, a lack of clear vision confuses prospects. It confuses everybody else who's going to be purchasing from you. Because even though you think a certain way, your client is still human. They need to see where they're headed to. Do you just jump onto a bus not knowing where its final destination is? I don't think so. Do you just jump onto a train or onto a flight without knowing where the destination is? I don't think so. You know? So at the end of the day, no matter what size your business, whether you started yesterday, whether you're going to start tomorrow, you got to have a clear vision that actually helps your prospects know if you're the right kind of person that will save their problems. And then all those people that are less than ideal or you're not so perfect are prospects. They will just not find themselves, you know, bothering you. Because the clear vision helps you to reach right in front of the people to see how you can help them promptly. You know? There's also this other thing that you might have a vision. But no one outside... Um, you know, outside that you work with actually knows what it is. You might know it up in there, but you're not able to articulate it to the team. So you want to make sure that if you've got a team or if you've got people that are working, touching your brand, your vision for them, for the company and for your customers is visible, is public and is shared across your online um, you know, platforms. You know why? This will keep your team in check. Whether you've got six people or 600 people, they've got to be on the same page and heading towards the same direction. Because once people, once the vision is not clear, people are bound to start doing whatever they feel like. And we know, all know how that ends up. So depending on how you actually bring people to the funnels, tough vision dissemination. What's happening, my man? Exactly. You know, depending on where you where where the people are starting from in the funnel, 
depending what department maybe it's it's sales department or returns or whatever it is or management or accounting department all of these people should be spreading the, the same language you know because once you start having different methods of doing things or different um you know voices coming from different people with different interpretations it's simple for prospects to actually feel like you don't have a clear vision and once people think you are confused if you're confused in 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 relaying your own message how are you going to be able to assist them how are you going to be able to solve their problems if your house is not in order you know and as you would notice these days there's no longer a sales and marketing you know gap they're all just morphed into the same thing so once you have a shared vision with all these departments you got to bridge all the communications between these two departments when people are out there selling and what has been marketed to your to your audience it has to correspond you know this then improves the customer experience because if 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 they heard this and and your sales is saying this it becomes incongruent and when clients think that things are incongruent no sales would happen and it 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 just you know takes away the whole communication barrier so you want to make sure that you your vision is clearly articulated you want to you want to you, you see you 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 set that vision with everything that you touch everything that you say so that people understand where they are headed to remember everybody has all they need they are just searching for connection now if your vision allows that connection to happen then you have customers so don't ever think that setting a vision will limit your sales will limit your growth because the opposite is true because once you start trying to sell anything to anyone you're damaging your business bro you're exhausting everybody else because they're trying to keep up with you and you can't even articulate what the hell you actually do you can't even provide you know proper customer service you know why because you're selling to the less ideal customer somebody who doesn't appreciate your work and first of all you frustrate yourself and you frustrate your customers just be clear on where you want your business to head to how you're going to serve those people and how you expect them to 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 expect to be treated you know and guess what once you've got a clear enough vision that you consistently repeat everybody remembers you it becomes easy for you you no longer sell you're now really just solving people's problems because let's face it everybody likes buying stuff but nobody likes being sold to so if your vision is so clear people would know exactly how they fit into the grand scheme of things and they don't feel like they're being sold to because they are buying into the vision And Robert says being the right person should attract the right person exactly like attracts like So you know whether you're at a sales event or you are meeting people at an event or it's a sales pitch or you're meeting people across Zoom or whatever you're doing you want to be memorable you want people to remember that you're the guy that helps people have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable That's why having a vision which you share as part of your sales conversations as part of your statuses can help you with this. Because once out of sight out of mind, but if people know that you've got a vision, they will remember that. So just make sure you're consistent in sharing that vision and it has to be clear. You know? And it should, you know, have a stack in the ground, a declaration of what is virtually possible. a declaration of what you're going to change and how you're going to make things better right now if you ask americans has america become any better they would tell you maybe not maybe yes but they bought into the vision of making america better and everybody you know made that statement their own so that's all that's how you got to do it when you sell a vision 
when you sell, uh, you know, a, a declaration of what is possible and how you're going to make people's lives better. Because, like I always say, people are always looking for a happier existence. So if your brand, your packaging or your business or your service is providing that to them, they want to be a part of that. You're showing them a, a, a new world of genuine possibility of, of some sort of transformation that they're longing for. And you know what it does? It drives prospects to work with you. So it becomes now a statement that brings you the people you really want to serve. You know? So you got to be using that vision to constantly remind people of who you are, who, what you do, and how they actually need you. So this vision must be repeated, it must be shared, it must be supported throughout your entire sales process. It's not just something that you stick on a wall. So from the, from the moment a, a um, you know, from the prosperous, proper prospect. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm like, man, when I want to work with somebody. They've got to fit a certain model. They've got to really want their business to be prosperous, to be profitable, and they really got to want that they're actually enjoying working in their business. So if they're going to want to make my life difficult, because I want to enjoy working in my business too, if they don't see that, I don't think they would see the value in the work that we put in. You know? So let me know what you're going to be doing to attract your ideal prospects. And how you're going to be helping everybody across your organization or everybody that you're working with to actually understand what your vision is. Because without a vision, the people will perish. I'm still going to leave you with this question yet again because this is the last show of the week. Why does your business exist? Yeah? Yeah? Like I said, it might sound like an easy question. All right. At the end of the day, I really, really want you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. This has been Prosper. I really, really hope that you're going to have a fantastic weekend. All right. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Let's see what you're going to create. But in the comments, let me know why does your business exist. Thank you so much.